Welcome to Tester's Nerf Room. So Nerf Fortnite is a series that you know it exists, it's always there, but you never really find yourself wanting to buy any of the blasters that they're selling because for the most part, every single one out there is a complete and utter failure. There are very few successes in the Fortnite series that the Nerf community can come together and equivalently say, this is good mainly because the series is a brand tie-in, so Hasbro simply doesn't care about it. But every once in a while, there is a release in Fortnite that is actually really, really good. One that blows people away because of how good it is. And in more recent years, that title goes to the Flare Gun. Yeah, this doesn't really look that interesting, but believe me, you're probably gonna like it. So the Fortnite Mega Super Flare, a blaster that I believe was released either this year or last year, now this was 2022, and was received to high praise, which is really surprising because look at it, it's a small Fortnite pistol, what could it possibly have to offer? I'm glad you asked. Let's start with the design. This is a really, really good design. For once, Fortnite's like ridiculous proportions and the fact that two lines can never match up does not affect this blaster's appearance. It looks really, really good. The back end is smaller than the front end, but not by much. It still looks good. Like it looks like a solid flare gun. I honestly think that the design here is really on point. They have just the right amount of details in just the right places. They put the Nerf logo right here, Fortnite logo right down here, Super Flare right on the side, and the rest of it looks like details you'd find on an actual firearm. It is a very, very well done design. Of course, they didn't paint both sides, but they don't really have details on the other side that need to be painted anyway, so I can forgive them for that. Let's talk about ergonomics. This blaster just has a main grip being a pistol, and it is really, really good. It's huge. This is what you call a grip. It is absolutely massive, and I can't get over how big the grip is, considering like, Fortnite blasters never have big grips. The grips on Fortnite blasters are always tiny. Like, let's take a look at this one right up here, the Compact SMG, which I actually conveniently bought at the exact same time as this. Look at how small the grip is in comparison to the Super Flare. Like, it's like night and day. This is a grip. This, I don't even know what this is. I'll review this thing eventually, but not the point. The point is, this has a really good ergonomic setup. And not only is the grip big, but it's also made incredibly well. It is incredibly smooth and filleted, yes, but these white sections right here actually are rubberized, so they provide a nice tactile feedback when you hold on to it. It is genuinely a super good grip. It is one of the best grips that Nerf has ever done for any blaster, and it astonishes me that it is in the Fortnite series in a gimmicky mega shooting pistol. What the heck? How does this blaster work though? Well, as you can see, there's a hammer up here and there's also a jolt T-pull down here. The T-pull obviously primes and fires the blaster, there you go, but what does the hammer do? Well, you pull down on this very nice spring-loaded hammer and the front falls open. Then you take a single mega dart, shove it in the barrel, close the breech, pull this down, and you can fire once. Now, People complain that this isn't a true break action because of the T-pole and the fact that you load it in from the back and as well as the fact that the blaster is small enough that you can just front load it right in like that and it works the same either way. But you know what? When has a gimmick in Nerf ever been used for practical usage outside of something like the Infinis? This is fun and it is really, really cool. I love the fact that this is a break action and not just another boring front loader. They went the extra distance to give us a break action mechanism, even if ultimately useless. And I'm sure that there is someone somewhere in the world who knows how to mod this thing, so when you pull the hammer down, it primes the blaster, and when you actually load the dart in and close this, you don't have to use the T-pole and you can just pull the trigger. With that said, let's talk about the trigger as well. It is very, very snappy. There is no movement at all, and then it immediately pops when you pull it in. Very good trigger for a Springer. A lot of Springers suffer from smushy triggers. This is not one of them. I love the way that this mechanism works. That is super cool. And even if you don't want to use the firing mechanism, you can just open it and like imagine yourself front loading it, flip it up, and then 
flare gun. There you go. Firing demo. Taking this a little bit more seriously now. Ah, screw it. So what do I think of the Nerf Fortnite Super Flare? Yeah, it's good. This is one of the best Fortnite blasters I've ever seen. Because, yes, it's based off of a pre-existing blaster, but the thing is, the pre-existing blaster, the Tri-Break, was received horribly. It's too big, it's not comfortable, it doesn't work very well, and there's no reason to use the brake action. This, on the other hand, is made way better, way comfier, way more reliable, and the brake action is utilizing a actual, like, IP that you would want to use, being a flare gun. Not just like a big, obnoxious looking mega triad that breaks because it can break. A flare gun actually breaks because that is how the mechanism works. And even though this is still technically just a big shock reskin, the fact that they incorporated the brake action the way that they did is a very welcome addition. You don't have to use it, you can front load, but if you have any sense of fun, you're gonna wanna use the brake action. It is so satisfying and so fun to use this brake action and just to use this blaster in general, I can't get enough out of it. But there is one tiny issue that I have yet to bring up. This is a Mega AccuStrike dart, and this, I believe, is called a Whirlybird dart or a Whirlwind dart. It doesn't matter. All you need to know is that the Whirlybird dart is a little teeny tiny bit longer, and these are the Mega darts that I use a lot. Um, you take this, you put it in, closes just fine. No issues. You take the Whirlybird dart, you put it in. Yeah. It, it doesn't fit, and no matter what you do, even if you like shove it to get it to fit, it still won't fire very reliably, and it just doesn't shoot nearly as well as the original Mega XLs, or the Mega AccuStrikes. I don't know why that is, I'm sure there's a way to fix it just by like filing this little nub down here a little bit more to give it a bit of extra leeway. It's still worth noting, I just wanted to make that apparent that if you're using those Mega Darts, you're gonna run into some issues with this. But other than that tiny little hiccup, yeah, please buy a Super Flare if you like anything that is fun in Nerf pistols. This thing is one of the funnest Nerf pistols I've seen in a very, very long time, and I can't recommend it enough. With that said, if you want to get one of these, buy link in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye.